Hi folks, it's Tank Girl here at Computex 2018 at the ASUS press event. This is the ZenBook Pro 14, and yes, there is a display inside the trackpad with an SDK and everything. This is kind of insane. Uh, this is a pretty nice laptop, you know, very pro, very high features. You can get Core i9 on this, and it's still super thin at the same time. But this trackpad is really the big story here. So as you can see, this is a trackpad with a screen built in it, and this is a music player. And uh, so you have all this uh, controls for music players, standard stuff. And uh, now let's see something else. And so uh, there's a bunch of different apps here, like a calculator. A ca that's a dialer. Yeah, this is calculator. That's a calculator. And you can see there's a home screen. Yeah, this is a launcher. This so is there's a launcher, a launcher for all you your like different programs. So these are custom apps for this trackpad that run at the same time as the main screen. And you can also make this a second display for Windows. Pretty cool, huh? Eh? And here, folks, you see the second part of the ASUS uh, product line. This is Project Precog, which is basically a laptop with two screens. Uh, one screen can be configured to a keyboard and trackpad. Uh, one screen can be, uh, you know, used as a normal laptop. That's uh, basically what you see over here. And then uh, you've got these other modes of operation, where you can set it into a display mode and use an external keyboard, or you can play a game across two people, uh, and or you can use it in tent mode, as you can see back there. So that's pretty, really cool. This is a, a concept at this point. It's very much similar to the Microsoft Courier, and to some extent, Lenovo did something similar with the, the uh, yoga book, but it didn't have really two screens. This is the Vivo Watch BP, and this is kind of groundbreaking because this is the first watch that does continuous blood pressure monitoring. So you can get real-time accurate results by putting your finger on the front here, but you can also have a, a continuous sensing through the back, which is a very, very, very cool feature. Uh, so this is a first. Nobody's really ever done this, at least not real-time tracking, uh, at least not in device this size. And uh, yeah, I mean, in other ways, it's a standard Vivo watch, you know, uh, it's a smart watch and it has all the other other uh, monitoring features you'd expect like uh, step tracking and all that. So that's uh, it from the uh, SUS uh, event at Computex 2018. Please uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check out my podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com. That's where most of the action takes place. Uh, and yeah, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, cheers.